Jordan Brand, Nike Basketball, Adidas, Reebok. We pretty much have something for everyone this week. I am Jacques Slade and this is the Heat Check. <laughs> We haven't had a lot of Kobe love the last few weeks since he's not taking part in the USA basketball thing that's going on, but Nike isn't leaving him totally out of the picture. Starting today, you can grab the Kobe 11 and one of the more interesting colorways I have seen so far. Called the Master of Innovation, the model is kind of, it kind of feels like an old multicolor flyknit. You can grab those for $200. If you're part of the Boost Over Zoom faction, Adidas Hoops is dropping a very dope colorway of the d Row 7. Just so you guys know, the d Row 7 is launching in two versions, a Prime Knit version and a regular version. This happens to be the Prime Knit in Solar Red, and I think it looks really nice. Pricing is 160 over at finish line. And to keep mixing it up, Reebok is taking us back to 2001 with the Question A5. Inspired by a commercial Irish and shot with Jada Kiss, the model is black and white and will cost you $140 on Friday over at finish line. The Olympics in Rio are officially underway and Jordan Brand has some nice looking colorways of the Air Jordan 31 dropping this weekend. One of those is the Rio colorway or anti-gravity machine as Nike is calling it and it sports the colors of Brazil. I know people question the mix of synthetic and flyweave on the upper of these but it works really well. These will cost you $185 on Friday as well. LeBron skipped the Olympics this year as well, but that hasn't stopped Nike basketball from keeping us laced up. Dropping this weekend is the LeBron 13 low that Nike is calling for the champ. It has a very cool and calm colorway. Pricing is 160 and I really like those olive hits. The love this week isn't just for the guys, as starting on Saturday, Jordan Brand is dropping a Baron style colorway of the Air Jordan 12 in grade school sizes. The upper mix is white and wolf gray and will cost you $140. Keeping the Saturday drops on your radar, Under Armour is bringing the Curry Lux to the masses this week in three colorways of the shoe. Now, the Curry Lux is basically a Curry One lifestyle shoe, and in this case, they upgraded the upper with suede in three colorways, black, navy, and red. Each has a little extra love at the heel, and those will cost you $150 over at finish line. If you want to show some U.S. pride this weekend, you can do that in the Jordan 31 in a different colorway of red, white, and blue. I really like this colorway of the shoe, and you can actually grab those for $185 on Saturday as well. Sticking with Jordan, the Jordan 1 Ultra makes its official debut this weekend. Jordan Brand is describing it as a modern take on the Air Jordan 1 with a lightweight upper and a soft liner. That will come in a white pair and a mixed black pair for $150. As if you couldn't tell, this week is really Jordan heavy and Jordan Brand brings in the glow to the table with the Air Jordan 14. As most of you know, the Air Jordan 14 was one of the last shoes that Jordan wore as a Chicago Bull. And if you're a fan of Vivid Green, these will be hitting finish line for $190. As I said, there's a good mix of everything happening this week, so be sure to check below if you want to find out more info. I'll put some links down there for you guys. Also, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more great content just like this. I am Jacques Slade. This is The Heat Check, presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past, but is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last thoughts, as you can see, the outsole is still white and this is just red. So my thought is that they just painted this red. 